Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to walk you through how to use AirDrop here in macOS as well as I'm going to show you how to use it in iOS in just a moment. But I also want to go over some privacy and security tips because there is general risk when using this feature. There's also general risk when using Bluetooth. And so the recommended rule of thumb is one, only use this feature when necessary and make sure it's fully disabled when not in use. And also avoid using this feature in populated areas such as a school, mall, airport, conference, Try using it more in an isolated area if possible and only use it with people that you trust. Now here in macOS on the left hand side I have the finder open which is this icon down here and I have airdrop selected on the left hand side. On the right I have system settings which can be found by clicking the Apple icon and then clicking on system settings. The first thing you'll want to do in order to use this feature is go to the Bluetooth option and just make sure that it is enabled and then go back to general and then click on airdrop and handoff. Notice Notice how everything is currently disabled. We're going to go ahead and turn it on and then as much as possible, use contacts only. Only use everyone when absolutely necessary. And then here in iOS, I am in the settings in iOS. And the first thing you want to do is again, go to Bluetooth and you'll just need to enable it. And then if you go back, you'll need to go to general and then click on airdrop. Notice again how everything is turned off because previously it was not in use. And so we're going to go ahead and turn it on again. Try to use contacts only use everyone only when necessary. And again, if you're going to use everyone, try to use it in an isolated setting back here in Mac OS with it now enabled on the Mac. Mac, as well as the iPhone, we can now see the iPhone listed here underneath other devices. And so if I want to share this image, I can just right click or hold down the control button on my keyboard and click and go down to share and then click on airdrop. And then right here, we're just going to click on the device. And then back here in iOS, we're going to click on accept. And then here in iOS, if we want to share an image back, I've got an image opened here. And in the bottom left corner, that little box with the up arrow, you just click on that. And then right here, there's an airdrop option. You just click on airdrop and share it basically the same way back to the other device. Now that we are finished, let's make sure that we turn everything back off. So here in iOS, let's go ahead and turn off use cellular data and make sure receiving is set to off and then hit back and then back again to the main list of settings and then Bluetooth. Again, you want to make sure to turn this off as well. And then back here in Mac OS, change this to no one, turn off, don't allow. And then also make sure if Bluetooth is is not in use that you turn Bluetooth off as well. That is everything for this video, but if you do have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, go ahead and please hit that join button, the subscribe button, the thanks button, or that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.